Hi, welcome to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel and we're here in Gresham at Metro East Community Media. We're going to be talking with organizations in the community who are doing good things and trying to help the people here. And we're going to start out talking with Ivan Scarborough. Ivan, welcome. So Thank nice you. to have you here. Um, you are with Sunshine Awakenings. Correct. I love the name. It's just a, like a happy name makes me think positive thoughts. So tell me, what, what is Sunshine Awakenings all about and, and why did you start it? Well, originally um, it began with my facilitating a community art circle on the waterfront where I would put out artwork and art supplies and anyone who walked by was welcome to stop and sit down and join us in making art. Um, we had an art therapy sign we put out and a free hug sign we put out and a free juggling lesson sign that we put out. Wow. So that was basically our direct marketing approach to bringing people in in the spirit of sharing and community and various forms of art you know, to come join us, sit down, and contribute some of their, you know, uh, creative energy to the circle. Cool. Now, this was in downtown Portland on the waterfront? Yes. So, are you an artist? I'm, I've been an artist most of my life, either yeah. computer or conventionally uh -huh. created, yeah. So, did you put out your artwork then, and then just, and the art supplies, and, and did people come? Did they, how, how, did that, how did that work for you? I guess, originally, the, the first seed art that was there was my art, mm -hmm. but it very quickly developed into many others coming and joining me, and creating pieces of their own, which, of course, you know, created more beauty there in the circle and attracted more people to come, and it kind of grew and snowballed in that manner. So who, what kind of people stopped there? Was it, was it people from all walks of life, or was it, you know, just like kids, or what kind of people would stop at an art circle? Well, in Portland, I found mainly adolescent to adults would mm -hmm. come and, and join. Um, I did host the art circle a couple of times when I was in Mexico. Uh, in Palenque, actually, mm -hmm. and there it was mostly young children. Oh, yeah. But in Portland, it's mainly been adolescents or older. And I mean, generally, it's people who are, first of all, open to interaction with people, mm -hmm. and generally people who are of a positive, you know, positive nature and who want to come and join and are inspired by the idea of the sharing of the art and the collective creativity there. I love it. I, it sounds like fun to me. So you said also free hugs, which is yep. great. I mean, everybody can use hugs. Um, what about the juggling? That's yeah. Well, uh, one of the other things that, that we promote, um, and it, it's actually since kind of grown into its mm -hmm. own little uh, independent, or is in the process of going to its own independent branch you know, from the organization, but um, we give juggling lessons to people. Um, juggling is actually like an ancient spiritual practice. Um, it's one of the only things that's shown to increase the size of part of your brain. Really? Mm -hmm. I've never heard that. Yeah. Well, any time that you learn a new skill or trade, mm -hmm. a new neural pathway is created in your brain but juggling is one of the only things proven to increase the size of part of your brain. And uh, the most recent thing I can say that I studied about this was a publication in one of the major journals of neuroscience mm -hmm. uh, published in February of this year that talks about how it increases not only the gray matter in your brain, but also the white matter in your brain, and it's just all around good for cognitive ability, coordination. Um, you can actually reverse the, the, the adverse effects of strokes with wow. juggling and also counteract other uh, generative brain disorders like Alzheimer's and things of that nature. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, tell me, uh, so you started this, the, the community art circle, you have the juggling and the hugs. What, what is the mission for Sunshine Awakenings? What is, it that you, what is it you're hoping to accomplish? Well, with the art in particular, it's uh, kind of balancing the right and left brain thing in society. You know, um, societies like this that are dominated by left brain, kind of warlike, you know, outward directed male energy, and actually societies that use um, alphabets or syntactical languages. Mm -hmm. You know, as I said, they're very left brain dominated. Art is something that utilizes your right brain, and it's, it's more creative, and so to balance that out, and in general, just to kind of set an example of what you can do with a small amount of, of you know, small budget, small amount of art supplies, and you know, the intention to share and help people out and promote so, art. So it really is a positive thing, just, it's kind of sharing that energy and that, and that positive goodwill, and actually, with the, with the juggling, actually doing something in your brain as well. What, um, you had to, you brought some pictures, and I think we should show those because those really kind of reflect what what you're doing out there. So maybe we can look at those pictures, and you can tell us what we're looking at. And uh, okay, well, this is an example of a day at the art circle. This is uh, in the first year of my doing it. You can see some of the art is created on cardboard there. Um, this one is from a lady who stopped by, who was an artist who painted a portrait of me. That's great. <laughs> That's good. I like that. It's right there on the waterfront. Mm -hmm. And you can see kind of in the background an art therapy sign that has some mountains on it. It's kind of hard to make out in that picture. Oh, wow. That's another example. That's a, a nice, nice day where I had a whole bunch of art out. And as you can see, multiple people coming and interacting and interfacing with the art circle. 
I imagine you get a lot more people when it's a beautiful day, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. This was a day when the sprinklers were on in the grass, so I had set up on the on the concrete. And these are three uh, Christian sisters who came and contributed some artistic energy there. Yeah. And the art therapy sign you can see there, yeah. which yeah. is yep, again right there. here shown in this slide. Yes. That's a you know hand created, obviously, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and multiple people contributed to that. This one is just an abstract drawing of, of mine. That's nice. I don't know, just I guess that's the best way to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> This stands for Restore Urban Earth, where you can see it there written in, mm -hmm. in, in there. This is a sister uh, named Joanna who came in multiple times back in the, in the beginning and contributed her, her artwork. I like that. Yeah. That's one of mine. Awesome. Again, an abstract with a little obvious message there. I like that. Very colorful, very happy. Very, you know, Thank I mean, you. That's one of mine as well. Just another abstract. I'm starting to see a pattern here. I can start to recognize, I will be able to recognize your art now. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Nice. Thank you. So, where where do you hope to go with Sunshine Awakenings? Are you actually a nonprofit now? You're yes. Yeah. And so, wh where do you hope to go with this? What you want? It sounds like the juggling has be, has sort of taken off, and now it's going to become a separate piece. So, what are, mm -hmm. what are your goals? Well, it, it'll always be a branch. It'll always be connected. But mm -hmm. we're actually creating a separate, um, you know, corporate entity or you know, business entity mm -hmm. for the juggling lessons. Um, partially to help get uh, get funding. Uh, yeah. We're, work, yeah, we're working on getting um, some lessons going on in some of the East Portland schools. Oh, wow. When we go into schools and we give kids lessons. Uh, we also have a, a tennis center, at least one now, that donates us tennis balls regularly. For your juggling. Mm -hmm. well, we then fill them with water, which creates a perfect weight for juggling mm. equipment. Mm. So we're able to give those away at practically no cost to us. Um, mm -hmm. We actually have also already applied for a, an art grant from the Regional Arts and Culture Council to okay. fund okay. next year's Art Circle. My fingers crossed for you because that would be a great that would be a great um, help to you, I'm sure. Thank you. So, how are you funded right now? I mean, so far up to this point, we basically run on you know donations of art supplies mm -hmm. and you know the little money that I put into it for business license fees and administrative mm -hmm. fees and the printing of stickers and you know the that's about it stickers and yeah. web, web, the website as well. Yeah. So, if people are interested in this and they have um, art supplies or other things they can donate that might help, or mm -hmm. or if they have you know a financial donation they can make, you'd be open to that, I'm sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. Do you have uh, do you have very many volunteers that that work with you on this? Or um, unofficially, we do. Um, uh -huh. I'm, I'm working on developing an application on the website and actually formally bringing in new people to volunteer. Mm -hmm. But uh, up until now, you know, we've been able to manage it with just the people that, that we have now. If, so, if somebody wanted to volunteer, what kinds of things would they, would you have available for them to do? They could facilitate the art circle. They could help give juggling lessons. Um, they could give hugs. They could give free hugs, absolutely. <laughs> they could help fill, help fill juggling balls. Um, we also done a few benefit concerts and events like that, like we did uh, Rock the Block, Rockwood. Right, right, and I think that's where that's where we became uh, yeah, connected that's here. Where I and that was a great, a great uh, community event. I think that was really fun. Me too. Um, had a lot of a lot of good um, good vibes going on there, and people really wanting to make the community a better place. So that's the kind of thing that you would be involved in community events. Yeah. If um, somebody was out there and had a neighborhood fair or um, you know some kind of a community type event, could they call you and ask if you would be, come and be part of it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. um, we have ads on Craigslist for the juggling. Um, we're actually going to be participating in an event. Uh, it's a back-to-school event by a group called Vienna Star. Oh yeah, yeah. I've you heard of them? Yeah, I am. Yeah. I, am. I think we have one of their public service announcements on our, on our channels. Yeah. Awesome. That'll be yeah. on the thirtieth. We'll be giving some juggling lessons to the kids and giving some free balls away. And where will that take place? At that event. Um, I don't have the address on the top of, of my of my mind, but it's on the thirtieth. You can look on their website on the back-to-school right. event. It'll give you the information on that. Nice. And uh, to answer your question about where we want to go with it as well, mm -hmm. um, or our, our mission, I guess I should say, you know, it's just generally to promote like kind of the shift in the collective consciousness, you know, to help uh, to help raise awareness to people about just community and helping each other, and how it's it's more beneficial to share than to try to hoard everything to yourself. Yeah. Like um, we have uh, the music side of it is all um, like very positive music, you know, with subject matter of you know collective awakening and. Uh, like quantum physics type, you know, knowledge that, that has to do with spiritual and ancient, you know, ancient teachings and how they're merging with modern science. So, how, who who does the music? What and what kind of music are we talking about? Is this? I mean, is this uh, people playing instruments? Is it singing? Is it spoken word? What, what are you? Uh, about? Well, so far, the benefit concerts have been comprised of myself 
doing um, the positive rap music, mm -hmm. which is I know it sounds a little bit uh, a little bit no. out. I mean, I, I don't think it does actually. I, I don't think it does. I, oh, I, good. I think that's that's a good thing. I've 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 heard positive rap music and I've heard some that was more like crap music. So right, right. <laughs> I, I like the positive a lot better. That's the thing. It's, 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 it becomes so synonymous with negativity, yeah, but actually it it's just poetry, which is like you know one of the ancient high noble arts, mm -hmm. and that you can do a lot with with rhyming words. So I, I found a couple years ago, that was one of my best subjects in school was like uh, literary mm -hmm. skills. So I decided mm -hmm. I was going to do that as part of my, you know, purpose in life to start writing positive stuff. So that's, right. that's the music side of it. And we also do a little bit of like uh, homeless and human rights advocacy as well. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we get donations of food from certain places. Like uh, I can mention uh, Elephant's Deli has been generous enough to donate us a few, uh, a few things in the last few months. Wow. And we go and share it with people and in, that's the, good food. in the community. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Absolutely. So do you do that at the same time as your art circle, or you just you have certain places that you go to donate that food? That's that's separate than the art circle. Mm, um, but okay. if I get it on the same day, I might bring it to the yeah. art circle because on the waterfront, you know, you will encounter all kinds of people. Yeah, you sure will. As yeah. you said, some you of whom need the... food, some of whom want to donate you art supplies, and everything in between. That's good. Now you, I have written down here that um, you have a community art circle 2015. You have a regular schedule then for your community well, art circles now. For next year, um, it's going to be more structured, mm -hmm. and this is because we are going to be funded by by RAC. Okay. So we're going to be there uh, every weekend, um, and it's like I think from 10 to 6, mm -hmm. doing the community art circle, and we're actually going to put flyers and uh, emails and you know. Oh, good. I mean, I let people to know, you know, that, to come down and. Exactly. Yeah. Can you put those? I wonder if you can put them in the schools. And I mean, that, I can see a lot of people wanting to come down and do that because arts. It is something that people want to share with other with others. It's, Part of the point of it, definitely. I think. So, um, so that'll be weekends from ten to six. This is May through August. Mm -hmm. um, where on the waterfront? Where between what bridges are we talking about there? It'll be right where there's uh, pretty much the most uh, concentrated population of pe people passing by. I'd say, which is like just uh, just south of the Saturday Market, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. right there on the grass. Like you can see in some of the bridge pictures. Kind of it's uh, closer should... to the Burnside Bridge. Okay. Like just yeah. right next to the Saturday Market. You're just okay. far enough down where I have an area where I can sit in the grass. Yeah. Maybe put a blanket out and have the artwork right there at the edge of the concrete. So I mean, thousands of people walk by and see that every day. And even if only a couple stop by, you know, that's that, that makes that makes a, a big difference. That's a couple of people wouldn't have otherwise. You know, if you hadn't been there. What um, when you say weekends? So so it is both Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Yes. So you got your, your you got your weekends booked up for the, the rest of the year, don't you? I've done it every day in 2012. Really? I was there every day for a long time. Yes. So tell me about, are there people that you feel like you've touched or have made a difference through doing these things? I would definitely say so. Can you tell me any examples of that? Um, for me to you know, specify individual people would, would be difficult, but I find that sometimes when you get people spontaneously, mm -hmm. just pull them in as they're walking by, there are some of the people who are lacking that type of creative outlet the most mm -hmm. and who may have never thought about that in a million years, but they happen to be walking by and they see this art therapy sign and they see people sitting there making art, and they're attracted to that. Something draws them in. Exactly, it's the sharing, it's the you know the, the, the creativity, just just the, just the beautiful imagery, the, the the whole thing. They're inspired. They're, they're they're surprised. You know, it's it's something they've never seen before in many cases. Wow. What, what do you see? Uh, where, where do you see Sunshine Awakening like five years from now? Well, hopefully we'll have um, you know volunteers mm -hmm. doing the art circle regularly. Hopefully we can expand to other areas you know, outside of just Portland. Yeah. Um, more benefit concerts, uh, more juggling lessons, more helping the homeless and poor, and standing up for human rights, and uh, yeah, just it's it's all it's all really good works. Do you ever see yourself um, partnering with other nonprofits and do, that are you know, sure. going in the same direction? Sure. As a matter of fact, yeah. I might mention um, a good brother of mine named Sean um, runs an organization called Pangea, mm -hmm. and it's I'm all about that. Pangea, have you Pangea. heard of it? Yeah, I'm not excellent. Sure. Mm -hmm. and they're all about connecting you know humanitarian individuals and organizations. Mm -hmm. With, the, with their community website. He's the one that actually got us um, involved with the Rock the Block, which is how we came yeah. to become involved with you guys. Good. So I should mention him too. Good, good deal. And I think that's, people who need to be open to that, to working together, because if you're all working for the same thing, you might as well, might as well do it together. Absolutely. Right. Thank you, Ivan, so much. I think it sounds like you are, you're on the right, you're right trail, and I, I have a feeling you're gonna do <laughs> quite well with the Sunshine Awakenings. Thank you for I having us. Thanks for your interest and Thanks. good stuff. Thanks so much for watching this first segment of Community Hotline. If you're interested in being part of Sunshine Awakenings, uh, we have the community art circles coming up, uh, or they're actually ongoing. Um, you can go to their website and find out more, see some of the great artwork. It's a pretty vibrant w website. I like it. And, um, and you can donate time or money or, or uh, art supplies, but do check it out. And don't go away. We'll be right back with more of Community Hotline.
What local community media is to us is literally our lifeline to what's going on in the lives around us. The absolute most important thing that happens in your neighborhood. People's local communities are usually what's most important to them. Because we're the faces, the smiles, the peoples, and the personalities of the community. To not only give people a voice, but to have their voice heard.